coming to this uh, ceremony um, where we continue what was already done in church, but for those of you who were not able to be there, you are, of course, very welcome. We had a lovely celebration in church, I think, of Marion's life, um, where we were able to celebrate all the good things. Um, and at the end of this service, we're going to go out uh, to a piece of music and um, uh, the sons tell me that um, the thing that comes up in their minds when they hear it is a fruit and nut case. Um, and that, that was one of the lovely memories that they had their mum of uh, coming along to tunes and um, they can't get fruit and nut case out of their minds when they hear that music. Um, however, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to ask Neil to come up and give a poem which I hope you will enjoy. Apologies to all you who've already heard this, but um, it's something I found when we were clearing up the house and it's for um, my mum when she was lady captain and it's written for her by Sue White, um, but it's, uh, it's just brings her out the room. Marion's our captain, her name's for the spoon, and sometimes when she hits the ball, she chants a little tune. His hands, knees, and punctuality driving off the team. But if she puts, if her puts go past the hole, she shouts at them, taxi! If you play her in a knockout, and you've got a chance to win, you only get a gimme if you're partial to a G. The secret's in the bottle, not the contents, but its size. If your put's within the length of this, then gimme is your prize. To say her swing is flat is the understatement of the year. She almost wraps it round her waist and sticks it in her ear. I see that in her driving, a clambered on the tee. She was presented with a podium so we can hear and she can see. She's very good at bowling, lovely Davies on her tee. She drinks just like a Cheshire cat because he's the man who's got the cream. She's even done a bungee jump. She really is a sport. Are you sure she didn't hit the ground? And that's why you're so sure. Nothing seems to worry her. It seems that way to me. Go rain or shine, or win or lose. It's always c'est la vie. going to read the uh, 23rd Psalm. Uh, Marion, as many of you will know, was a woman of faith. The Lord is my shepherd, therefore can I lack nothing. He will make me lie down in green pastures and lead me beside still waters. He will refresh my soul and guide me in the right pathways for his name's sake. Though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff comfort me. You spread a table before me in the face of those who trouble me. You have anointed my head with oil, and my cup will be full. Surely your goodness and loving kindness will follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And now we have the commendation where we entrust Marion to God's loving care. God, our creator and redeemer, by your power, Christ conquered death and entered into glory. Confident of his victory and claiming his promises, we entrust Marion to your mercy. In the name of Jesus, our Lord, who died and is alive and reigns with you now and forever. Amen. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great goodness. As a father is tender towards his children, so is the Lord tender to those that fear him. 
for he knows of what we are made. He remembers that we are but dust. Our days are like the grass. We flourish like a flower of the field. When the wind goes over it, it is gone and its place will know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord endures forever and ever toward those that fear him and his righteousness upon their children's children. Lord, now let us thou thy servants depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Now we stand for the committal where we say our final farewell. We have entrusted our sister Marian to God's mercy, and we now commit her body to be cremated, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust, in sure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life, through our Lord Jesus Christ, who will transform our frail bodies, that they may be conformed to his glorious body, who died, was buried, and rose again for us. To him be glory forever. Amen. Please be seated. Marian has fallen asleep in the peace of Christ. We entrust her with faith and hope in everlasting life to the love and mercy of our Father and surround her with our love and prayer. In baptism, she was made by adoption a child of God. At the Eucharist, she was sustained and fed. God now welcomes her to his table in heaven, to share in eternal life with all the saints. Amen. A prayer for those who mourn. Father, we ask your blessing on all who mourn this loss, especially her beloved sons, Neil, Jim, Graham, and Richard. Her daughters-in-law, grandchildren, and all her friends and neighbours. May they be comforted and know your love through Jesus Christ our Lord. Peace of God which passes all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son Jesus Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and all those you love this day and forevermore. Amen.